Well, good news, we finally did it. Yes. It's, a very, it's a very good day. Yes. Yes. Celebrations are here. Finally, I have a home. <laughs> finally. If February was the month of uncertainty, March was the month of gratitude. Hey guys, today's video is very different. I am going to be sharing with you for the first time a video diary of the month of March. From the initial stages of moving into my new home, from cleaning, unpacking, setting up my utilities, local shopping, the excitement of making new friends, building new connections, and even joining a sisterhood. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Jay and I am the creator of Expat Garden Girls. Also, the challenges of finding local tradespeople to do our jobs, to the reality of managing my spending in terms of the things that I want to update in my new home. Yes, guys, it's all going to take time, but it's going to be worth it. Buying any house abroad, especially in a hot climate that has been left empty for a while, there will be challenges. Anything metal or aluminium or chrome will need a thorough good clean with specialist cleaning products. This is because of the effects of calcium and limestone. So today's job is trying to sort out all of this. Let's see what we have in here. It's lamps. I can't even remember. It's been such a two months ago since the past. Wow, I can't believe it's got here. Let's see if anything's broken. Wow. Oh, yeah. Two. Three. Then, this is what I put on. Four. I haven't used these in years. I really loved how Transpackship took my clothes from my wardrobes in England and put them directly into a box with a hanging rail. Very full. My really full. Yeah, see, you've got your hanging rail and it literally you just take out your clothes directly from your wardrobe in England or wherever into the wardrobe in my bedroom. Uh, this is what they put as the first layer with the bubbles against the glass and then they put this on as i said to you before it's got like two plies one is to, to stop it from sweating this fabric here learning something new every day that's the pole number <laughs> In order to access broadband, Flow and Digicel will need to know your poll number. Make sure you know your address and can clearly give directions from the main road. The Flow guy finally came. He was fantastic. He spent an hour or so setting everything up inside the house, but unfortunately, there was a problem with the poll. Guys, this was one of my first big challenges because I wasn't able to access broadband. That meant no Wi-Fi in the house and that was a nightmare. Thank goodness I was able to move to Digicel. You will move your turn button, press it twice, one, four, the screen. Installing blinds was one of the first things I actually did for privacy and to keep the heat and the sun out. Make sure you get somebody who comes highly recommended. One of the best things about where I'm living is that I am within walking distance of the local shops, local vendors, and also the bus station. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, coming to you from a sunny bar, but does the morning. It's about 7.30. It's actually a very bright morning, blue sky. 
and I am just on my way to the fish market in Spikes Town. It's open today, it's, it's Good Friday tomorrow and all the shops are closed. So I'm gonna see what fish I can get today. So I'm bringing you along with me. It's been a wonderful week. I've really enjoyed this week. Oh, hi guys, yeah, I'm, I'm carrying my Massey bag. <laughs> That's Massey, which you know is an expensive shop, but it has the brands if you specifically want things from UK, US, Canada, you'll probably find them there, but you will pay the price. <laughs> but the bags are good. <laughs> You'll often see a lot of people putting, carrying all their swimming gear in the Massey bag or a Jordan's bag. I aim to get to the shops for eight o'clock in the morning as that's when you begin to see shops opening. It's also the coolest part of the day, so it's the best time really for me to get my shopping done. You probably recognize this road, it's Sand Street. Yeah, it really is as if you walk on the I'm hunting for the shade now. I never get tired of seeing the blue ocean um, as I walk into Spice Town. Oh, there's an exercise class going on here in the Esplanade. There's the church. I've also seen people roller skating and ballroom dancing in the Esplanade. Fish. And that's where I'm going, the fish market. Yeah, this lot, oh, it's closed. I thought they said they're my fish market. Is it open today? I don't know if it's open yet. No, it's still closed, but there's gear in there. Oh, right, okay, that's fine. I'll go and get some yeah. stuff. All right, thank you. Unfortunately, I can't show you the fish that I purchased on this particular day because I thought it was closed. And that was because the staff are actually at the back. And I couldn't see anybody when I was locking on the door and so I just thought it wasn't opening. Um, but I found out later that what it is is that they are often at the back cleaning the fish. So you just need to go in to the counter and just call Thank and somebody you. will come out. Morning. Morning. And that's the postman delivering. <laughs> so shop there. I decided to keep on recording because I was going into Spice Town, not just for fish, but also because I wanted to pick up a few things from local vendors. Because it was Easter Friday, it meant that the shops were going to be closed over the weekend. So I managed to stop at the bank to pick up some money. And then I went to one of my favorite stores, a local vendor who sells fresh fruit, also fresh juices. It's been great getting to know all the different vendors in Spice Town. I particularly love to stop at the coconut water cellar who is very popular and can be found on Saturdays and Sundays on the local highway. Oh dear! Oh, it's good to know that then, I'll tell people. Nice to meet you, Zuma. All right. And this is another great place. When I get organised, I'll be coming here. Oh. oh, she's not there. So you got your curtains. This is just one of the many convenience stores located in Spice Town. And as you can see, it sells quite a number of everyday goods and products, which is very convenient, especially when you have just moved into your new home. You can find everything here from drinks to cereals to foods to electrical items to all kinds of goods. <laughs> that. 
it's 5 10 in the morning and it's time to get up yes people walk early in barbados and as the summer continues with the longer days the early morning starts get earlier Where and earlier I thought it was a church at first. But yeah, I think it was a church. There was a church here somewhere. Honestly, it looks like a church. Yeah, I think it was, that was a church. But look at this. This is a beautiful house. I take great pleasure in spending time walking. I found walking to be one of the easiest things to do. Rain don't stop play. So this morning we're going to the beach and it's been throwing it down, <laughs> but we're still going. It's, it, it's clearing hopefully, but a lot of people, they still go to the beach when it's raining and they're still in the water. So let's see what it's like. I'm walking through a few puddles here. <laughs> see, it does rain in the Caribbean <laughs> and not just the little bits, because it's been a heavy downpour last night. Although it was raining in Bridgetown and it was dry in Spikestown. Oh, we got some sargasm. Some sargasm. What does the first world have but big buildings and rich people with, you know, big egos? In the midst of all the packing and just all the legal stuff, I found that it was really, really important to take time for myself. So the little things like swimming, walking, just walking to the beach, watching the sunset, very simple things, but very beautiful things. They were the things that really helped me to take care of myself, which is very important when you're going through this process. Take time for you and remember to enjoy the things, the things that you like about Barbados, the reason why you came to Barbados in the first place. <laughs> On the 24th of March, a group of new friends joined together to celebrate the new full moon at Holder's Market Garden for a beautiful, magical sound bath awakening celebrating transformation and new beginnings. Hello. What did you think of that then? It was lovely. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Three days later, yes, it the nice three of there. us, new friends, were back together so again, this time away. on the beach in Spitestown. And we had yeah. the most amazing time, led by Norma. Norma is actually one of my subscribers, and for the past year, we yeah, have yeah, been nice communicating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, Norma yeah, yeah, decided, yeah, yeah, after a lot of thought, to come to Barbados on a scouting trip. Lovely. Living in Barbados means that you are never too far away from the beach and there are so many beautiful restaurants to dine at. I've actually got a drink. Something other than... You know, Water! Alright, okay, so cheers and safe journey back. Yes, thank you. Look forward to seeing you again. I have been blessed to have so many people help me in this journey of moving. And the unpacking and installing of furniture was such a challenge. Everything was so heavy. It was so time consuming. So a huge thank you to Courtney and Steve for all the work they did. Thank you so much. What's the boat called? Malibu. All right then. Yeah. All right. 100% local. 100% local. Yeah, we like that. Perfect. Perfect. Anyway, Easter Monday well. was a beautiful day. The sun shone, the sky was blue. We travelled by bus from Spitestown to St James, Fitz Village, and 
met up with some beautiful friends of ours who had invited us to an Easter celebration at Botanical Gardens. <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. When you came over and you said you were from the UK, I was like, what? I don't believe it. Wow. Hello. Hello. Good, thank you. Yeah. I know you're just taking up So the trio get together again. This time we were invited to the Barbados National Trust for Stick House opening. Day to the public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, that's okay. This evening, both Charles and John are accompanied by Margaret Bavel. Welcome to our beautiful island for those of you who are visiting. And for those of you who are coming from other parishes, welcome to the parish of St. Lucy. Lovely and blue sky is nice breeze. Now this is where I'd be sitting now. For the breeze. <laughs> I won't go there. Yeah, from that I won't go from that angle. I'll go, I'll go from this angle. There we go. Yeah. More than a year of yeah. just communicating wow. virtually. virtually. Yeah. And it's absolutely yeah. ridiculous. You come all the way from Saudi. <laughs> from Saudi. And then I would you believe my neighbour? Hello. I can't get over it. It's Sylvia. Oh my god. I was just so happy when you came round. I was so happy. I'm not alone. And, yeah, and this is our future. Exactly. This is it. This is it. This is it. More this of it. It's going to be like, more people. Yeah, exactly. This is the reality. Yeah. So come to Barbados. Join us. Come to Barbados. Join. There's still room. Life is sweet. Come, come, come. Having purchased the house, moved in, now I had to make some decisions about what were the things that I needed to or wanted to upgrade in the house. Here are a few items that I am looking at upgrading in the very near future. As you can see, I have a bathroom that I'd like to upgrade with the taps and shower heads uh, mm -hmm. and maybe even put in a new bath. So we went down to Platinum, which is one of the premium bathroom and accessories um, outlets here in Barbados. Highly recommended. This is the tile. This is the tile that Steve has got at his place. This is it. It's this tile. It's this like combination. Hey guys, so today I am checking out. Platinum staff were very helpful. They showed me various options, and they also gave me quotes, um, written quotes that I could take home, um, that I could then peruse over and decide in the near future. If I wanted to go ahead and purchase anything. I left Platinum Imports with a few items to be installed and a few other items which are now on my wish list for the future. International Women's Day was celebrated this year on Friday, March the 8th. The beautiful time we had British, American, Canadian, Barbadian women all together sharing our experiences celebrating this wonderful day. Yes. Oh, lovely. Oh, thank you,
got to turn around for you. You look amazing. Yay! See ya, see ya! <laughs> How amazing we were invited to another Women's International Day event. So we are here at La Maison Michel. So lovely to see all these ladies here today. Some I haven't seen for a whole year. Look, there's Michelle. La Maison is owned by Michelle and her husband, Guy, and it is the perfect destination for a romantic escape, work retreat, or a friend's getaway. We had a wonderful time touring the rooms, and what was so amazing was that each of the seven rooms boasts a different theme. Wow, you definitely feel like you're on safari here. Just look at that view. So if you're looking for something very special, look. Oh my goodness. Look. So all the rooms are different, have different themes. What, you have your own little beach. It was another incredible opportunity to meet up with some beautiful sisters here on the island. The highlight, however, was taking the time to actually connect with these sisters. We talked about self-care, we talked about empowerment, and we talked about how we could support each other in our endeavours. So if you are thinking of Barbados as a place to spend more of your time, whether through relocating, retirement or for a retreat, then contact me, Expat Barbados. Yeah, I am grateful. That's not really all well. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>